Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for August 15th through the 18th, the 15th through the 31st, okay? Um, so before I started the reading I was thinking about you guys and all that, you know. Timing is fluid, keep that in mind. Anyway, my eyes are closed, I'm just going to talk. But anyway, what I saw first was the Nine of Wands reversed, which is life challenges. I feel like you guys are facing a challenge. A life challenge you may be getting upset or frustrated over the challenge that you are facing I feel like you may feel like you're wanting more you're missing an opportunity you may be feeling stuck you may be feeling like you're in a situation that isn't really providing for you it's not providing the passion okay it's not providing the the emotional contentment that you're looking for so you're looking for more right you're looking for something more you may be analyzing, overanalyzing things. And then I saw the tower reversed. The tower reversed is a false sense of security. So it's like there's a change that is needed, but you're holding on to some sort of false sense of security. You know, it's safe. It's safe where you're at. I'm Virgo rising, and that's why you were last, because I, I, I'm i a Taurus sun. So I, I, I had to pick, I picked my sun sign to go first and my Virgo rising to go last, because... I just did. Anyhow, um, so rising, your rising sign is going to resonate very, very much with you. It's how other people see you. Anyhow, um, it's the, the, the sign that was rising when you were uh, born. But anyhow, um, I saw the tower reversed. And the tower reversed is a false sense of security. It's a false structure. Could be your body. Could be your home. Could be your job. Could be your relationship, whatever it is, it's false. And it could be you are protecting yourself subconsciously by holding on to this. It feels like it's something to hold on to, right? It's protecting you in some way. It's safe. It's safe. But it's not emotionally fulfilling with that four of cups. It's not. You're wanting more. The only way you're gonna want you're gonna get what you truly want to fulfill your heart is to face your fears about this falseness that you are dealing with. You know, find that strength. The nine of wands is about strength, it's about stamina, it's about perseverance, it's about determination. If you and then you know, if you want success, if you want that happiness, you're gonna have to be determined to, you know get rid of the false structure that you are staying in that is protecting you. So I feel like at the end of this month you're going to you're probably going to make need to make some decision or you're still contemplating with the 4 of cups living or staying in a situation or protecting yourself even subconsciously. So, you know, you guys you're going to have to find your determination and your strength with the 9 of wands. You got to find that inner strength, okay? To drop something cuz the next card is the 10 of wands. Okay? Okay, to drop something that is weighing you down. It literally could be weight. It could be the place that you live. It could be your job. It could be your partnership. Whatever it is, it's gonna. It, it, it's you can only carry it for so long. It needs to go. It needs to go so that you can be free. So that you can be happy. I saw the sun card as well, or I did. I saw. So that's happiness, extreme happiness. You know, enlightenment. So maybe you guys are going to become enlightened at the end of this month. Maybe you're going to start to feel lighter. Maybe you're starting to feel lighter. Maybe you're shedding. Maybe you're shedding some weight. I don't know if the Ten of Wands came up. I don't know what this is. But I feel like, you know, happiness is a big focus at the end of this month. Extreme happiness with the Sun card. And you have an opportunity to be extremely happy. But you're going to have to let go of that false sense of security, which is that Tower Reversed. The Tower Reversed is a necessary evil, which means you're going to have to deal with something to find the extreme happiness that you are seeking with that Four of Cups. Anyway, let's get started. Virgo, you know, you somebody could be holding on to a false relationship, and I don't know what this is, but you know, it's something, it's something, right? It's some sort of attention, it's safe, um, could be your, could be your weight, your literally weight. People subconsciously protect themselves by gaining weight, um, or staying in a situation that feels safe, they don't want to get hurt, could stem all the way from past lives. Anyway, Virgo, what do we got? Now, you guys are definitely, with the Four of Cups, that's overanalyzing. Isn't that what you do? One card for Virgo. One card for Virgo, please. Oh. 
Ah, oh, blossom. That is the judgment card reversed. So we got somebody here that is unaware. Okay. Lack of awareness. There's self-doubt and self-loathing here. You're not aware. You're not aware that it's time to release. Or maybe you are, but you're just not honoring your own truth. This is also a card of karma. This could be past life karma. Judgment is often past life. Past life karma. You may be holding on to some past life karma and you are going to need to find your strength to deal with it. Don't make sure that you're not living in some sort of fake, well, the that tower is fake, some fake sense of security just because it's safe. So we got somebody here that is not honoring their truth. Um, damn it. Um, unaware, unaware, self-loathing, self-doubt, doubting yourself, doubting your gut as well, refusing to blossom. Now it's time to blossom. It's time to live again. What the hell are you waiting for, Virgo? <laughs> now this is a card of forgiveness. Perhaps there's some sort of forgiveness that is needed. Maybe you need to forgive yourself. Maybe you're feeling guilty if you honor your truth. What do we got for Virgo? Goddess of the moon. Now, this is uh, very intuitive. I think that you're very intuitive. I feel like um, there is something that is hidden. If you think about the moon, there is, there's a secret here. And this is a secret as well. We got somebody here that is keeping a secret. about how they truly feel. The, the, the moon is ruled by the shadow, the things that are unseen. So you may be hiding your, hiding your truth very well, right? Is that what's going on here? You're hiding your truth? Hiding how you truly feel about a situation or about a person? It's something, right? It is. It's something. It's something to protect you. It's it's safe, right? It's safe. But you may be unaware that it's not really safe. If you could, you know, oh, what you resist persists. And what you don't accept in this lifetime, you will repeat in the next. We got two cards. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And this could be the person you're with right now. This is the romance of a lifetime. You have to release to get your true love. And that is what this is. You have to release somebody to get your true love. You know it. And I know it. And that's why we have the Four of Cups. And this doesn't have to be, you know, this could be somebody that you're dealing with right now that you know, but you're ignoring the truth, that you know just isn't the right fit. Could be a job. Could be, I don't know who it is, but it's some sort of false sense of security. You have a true love waiting for you. That is the romance of a lifetime, but you must release. And this is refusing to release because it's safe. Not facing your fears. The moon is fears. Virgo. What do we got for Virgo? End of August. Mm, there's a relationship that could be ending. This is uh, not focusing on a relationship or, you know, that is a relationship ending. Could happen suddenly. It could happen suddenly. This is act now. Think later. Stop thinking about it. Take action. It's time to make your decision. This is the moment of decision. You, you can choose to stay where there's no passion or you can move into something more passionate. The relationship that somebody is in, I don't know what it is. It's not happy. Take action. Go after what you're a pat. Oh, this is right around the corner. Okay. All right. Upheaval is coming. You can only avoid it. You can only bide this for so long. Bide the time. 
This is going to crumble. It's going to crash. It's not stable. It's not solid. This is your necessary evil. The, this is like it. It's time. It's time to let go of this false sense of security that you have been avoiding. You've been avoiding it. Um, in the near future, there is going to be some sort of chaos. You may not see it coming because you're hiding it so well. You're hiding your truth so well. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, it's a partnership. We have a partnership that is false. This is a false partnership. But you have a true love. You have a true love, but you're holding, this is holding on to a dead end. So Virgo, you are holding on to a dead end partnership that feels safe, but it's very unstable. It's very insecure. Right here, right now, you should be focusing on love. You should be focusing on what your heart wants. This is self-doubt. This is your self-loathing as well. The challenge is finding the confidence and the courage to hold your head up high and get your ass in gear and go after love. You need to be practical. You need to be yourself. You have a lot to offer. You may not know it, but you have a lot to offer. You really do. You have an you have an opportunity to manifest whatever you want. You can grow whatever you want. You have the skills. You have the discipline within you. You just got to find it. You just need to devote yourself to success. We have this 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 is you needs to take action. There's a lack of 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 confidence here. You know, it's like Oh my God, remember I saw the sun card, but this one's reversed. This is unhappiness, sadness, depression. Because your heart wants something more passionate. Your heart wants something more passionate, and that's all there is to it. So I feel like there's an opportunity for true love here. There is. But you're going to have to be practical. You're going to have to let go of the dead end. I feel like at the end of this month, right now, you're holding on to your stability. You're still holding on to it, right? You're holding, even though it's a dead end, you're holding on to it, right? It's stable. But you're thinking about love. You notice you're holding on to your sta stability. You're unhappy and you're thinking about big love, right? Oh, I want this big love. I want more love. I want more love, right? You need to make a plan. You need to set a goal. You need to take baby steps. You need to be practical and you need to be disciplined. I feel like giving up your routine is an issue here. You need to follow your heart, please. It's as, it's as though you have somebody coming in. You have somebody coming in that is stable, somebody that is solid, somebody that has a big heart, somebody that wants a relationship with you, somebody that could really complete you, but you're not allowing yourself to be emotionally available to this person. You're, you, you've cut yourself off. And it's time for you to shed the old and bring in the new. It's time for you to find those resources within you to shed the partnership that is false because you have, like I said, you can manifest. You can, and you probably have. You probably have with your dreaming, your daydreaming, your dreaming about love. You have probably called in a soulmate and it's like this person is here. You probably have seen them. You know them. You've met them. But you're not making yourself available to them because you haven't found the resources within yourself to break free from this dead end that <laughs> is false. So I feel like at the end of this month, right here, you, you know, you have the power. You have the power. But you're going to have to leave somebody behind and face your insecurities.
You're going to leave something behind that you are protect. Could be weight. I'm telling you what. It could be weight. It could be a home. It could be a job. It could. Be, I think it's a partner. Whatever it is, it is some sort of partnership. And a partnership could be a weight. You, you got to look beyond. Okay. You got to look dig deep. Okay. I feel as though. You are holding on to some false insecurity. There's no shit. No shit. Therefore, you're turning down a love offer that could make you very, very, very happy. This is sad. This is sad. This this is sad with, the, with this sun card reverse. It's sad. I feel like you have a water sign or an earth sign that, or an air or a fire sign. So... We have somebody here that wants you to give them a chance, somebody that is very passionate, somebody that has a big heart, and they are stable. They have something to offer you. But you need to, you need to know your value. You need to know your worth. I feel as though you guys are holding on to something that is stable, it's safe to you. But the universe says it's not. It's not. And you're going to have to find your ability to stop being a victim to this circumstance. Here's your four of cups we were talking about. Not receiving the attention that you want. Not receiving the love that you want. Overanalyzing, daydreaming about love, losing a big opportunity, looking for more. God is offering you love and you're ignoring it. Please take action. Stop thinking about it. The relationship, these are mirroring each other that you are holding on to, whatever it is. It's going to crumble. Why waste time? Face your fears. Wake up. Release. Good luck.